welcome to Tell You Later, the show about everything and nothing. And now, here they are, Will Ryan and Katie Lee. Sincere thanks to all those who support us on Patreon. See the full list at the end of the show. By the way, there's always room for more. Hi, my name is Rand. And when I'm not playing golf on San Juan Island, Washington, I watch Tell You Later. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. And do not fail to hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit like. Right now. Hit it! We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, a melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Because it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not, we haven't got a title song for this show. Welcome back to Tell You Later. Guess what Will's eating? Duh, popcorn. popcorn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Yes, and we are waiting. Martian popcorn, the kind that you're going to plant on Mars, and so are we. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, like my Are you from the Martian. Dick Tracy comic strip? No, that was the Moon Maid. The you moon. know, Dick Tracy Jr. Are you going to get off topic before we even say what the topic is? Yes. Well, hang on. Uh, Dick Tracy Jr. married a, a girl who was born on the moon, and she was a Martian. Oh. You know, it started off as such a um, what kind of children realistic did they have? comic strip. They had, I think they had a kid. Yeah. Yeah. A Martian. Half did they Martian. Name him Martin. <laughs> no. <laughs> then. Uh, okay. Uh, they would have got a lawsuit. So from hey, them. so welcome back to tell you later. We're gonna have a special guest in this episode, I believe, but. Before that, hold on. You know, uh, we have a format here on this show. Oh, okay. What is it? That that we begin yes. with Oh yeah, right. A the question. tell you later question. So who do you think's our guest? Oh. Who do you think is our surprise guest? Tell uh, you is? later. Oh. All okay. right. Okay. Great. But right now we have a letter from one of our audience members. Mm -hmm. O double D. Yes. She she's full of lots of cool ideas, but she says this. Hold on a See, second. See, I have I have to eat this, so You have to I can't to. put it back in the Because he's hungry. Because there's a pandemia going on. Uh oh, now I lost. Hold on, I gotta find the letter. Um it's about I'll I'm not of, being rude. No. You're not rude. She is. You're not rude. Rudy do you think Kazuti. they used to call Rudy Valley Rude for short? I'm just wondering, was he short? Anyhow, here, no. here's a letter from one of our audience audience members. That's O-D-D-I-E-N-C-E. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you, by the way, for everybody who's liking and supporting our show and hitting the thing that you're supposed to hit and telling all your friends because we super, super appreciate it because we are about the to bell. go into to hit the bell. season two very shortly. That's right. In a couple of episodes. Yeah. And we have a lot of exciting stuff lined up for it. Mm-hmm. Hold on to your seats, folks. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of which, you seem far. I my chair must not be in the right. Although my my belly button was lined up. Hold on, hmm. let me scoot it over because I'm like falling over. Trying I believe to in properly lined up belly buttons. To, yes. Here. Well, oh, see, my mark is over here, and I hmm. thought I thought they fixed that, but she's giving away state secrets. Yeah, you know, well, you know, show. actors have to mark their. Spot. Spots, so yeah. we mark the counter so our belly buttons will line up. So there's I, a little secret for you. I have a question you. for our next guest. Well, hang on. What? Well, I haven't even told you this question from our audience member. Okay. All right. Can you? Can you? Well, on. let what? me just say that. <clears throat> yes. In the last two episodes, we mm -hmm. did not cover these topics. Backward stuff. We touched well, on a it. a little bit. We didn't. Yes, but we didn't really go through it. And we didn't really talk about the next season that's coming up. No. And all the big plans. Yes. And we didn't talk about... Well, I'm going to... Um, yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, a, a story that was written by you and me uh -huh. and our Patreon supporters. 
yes. who went to patreon.com slash tell you later and are supporting the show. Yes. And um, and we didn't do the fizzy story. Well, because that's what I'm about to read to you right now. Right. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. And so, this came from somewhere. This came from one of our uh, Emmy. Who's one of our audience. Uh, yes. Her name is Emmy. And she said that... Here, hang on. Let me find Speaking it. of Emmys. Yes. You know, every show that I've worked on won some kind of an award. Yes. And every show that you worked on won some kind of an award. Probably. But this show has yet to win an award, and I think that's... Uh, so for all of granted, you award on, givers out there, just yes, so you know, we're going to throw our notice. hat. Throw your hat in the ring. Okay, I've got You're an extra wearing, one You have here. an extra one? Yeah. Woo! Phew! Right okay. in the ring. Wait. Could you please... Throw that in the ring, crew of one, please. Okay. That's the bathtub ring. <laughs> Splash. Okay, so here she says, she wrote me a note. She said, okay, funny fizzy drink story. Okay. And I thought First this was all, good for you because you like uh -huh. fizzy drinks. But when you tell people you're going to tell a funny story. Don't say it's funny. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, just future advice. Okay. But well, we this appreciate is, I'm this. I'm just reading her letter. She says, okay, she, I hate fizzy drinks. Mm. I'm at youth group. I go to the drinks. I pour myself some red punch. I take a sip. It's fizzy. So I pour it in the sink. Wow. I ask my cousin if the orange punch is fizzy. Well, of course, fizzy. there's a pandemic, so I guess that's what you would do. Yeah. Well, I guess. Yeah, you can't just hand it to the next Somebody. person in line, right? right? So she says, okay, so I asked my cousin if the orange punch is fizzy. She says no. So I get it. I take a, I take a sip. It's a fizzy drink. The how, orange punch? How do people drink this stuff, she asks. So she just goes, gets water, and that's her funny fizzy story. How do you drink this? Because all y'all out there may not know, but Will is a huge fizzy drink fan. Right? I do like, I, I, I believe, um, uh, what was the movie with uh, Orson Welles and, and Joseph Cotton that took place in Berlin post-war? It had, it had fizzy drinks in it? Um, the um, the narrator of the the novel based on the book Graham Greene mm -hmm. uh, wrote the screenplay yes. and then wrote a novel based on it, and uh, <laughs> and he said that it's good to mix your drinks, you know, to mix your water. Mix, I your, think. mix your waters. Mix your waters. So yes, and I. And that's do, where you took a note from that. Well, suggestion. I do like fizzy water, and I do like Stillewasser, as we call it in Deutschland. And, and, but you often carry your own Perrier. You bring it here. Mm -hmm. You have your own little bottles in right. the fridge, yes. right? But I have a taste test for you. Okay. And this is okay. what she's what she's speaking of. Yes. There are various sizes so, of okay. Perrier. So and this I, is the one I, I prefer because it could be really cold because I'm an American and I like cold drinks. Cold you know? drinks. And um, and uh, by the time you're done, it's still cold. Mm. Whereas if you open up the medium-sized one, by the time you're done, it's lukewarm. Okay. Sometimes. So what I have here are two red cups. All right. I like fizzy water too, but my budget's a little tighter than yours, I guess, because I get regular a whole liter full of Calistoga hmm. water, hmm. which is okay. from California. Okay. So anyway, I have poured these two cups. You may take a sip of each and see if you can tell the difference. Okay. One is French, one is American, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. Right? Who knows? I don't know. <clears throat> but go it ahead. It says bottled at the source, whatever that means. Yeah, the sink. It used to say that. <laughs> the sink. It used to say that on Perry. I'm Arrowhead, not sure if it does. Right? It still says a votre sante. But, uh, okay. you know, who speaks French? Now don't look at the so, bottom of the cup. I'm not Close your eyes. Just take a sip. All right. This is one. One. Switch it around. <laughs> well, I know what this is already. This is the lemon-flavored Perrier that I got by accident, right? Huh? I, I can smell the lemon already. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that part. <laughs> I can't sorry. believe. Okay. Out of politeness, I did not do a spit take. <laughs> All right, that was that's because your computer's right in front of you, and you would be. <laughs> oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, oh. I'll taste this anyway. See if you can tell which one is Calistoga. That's Calistoga because it's warm. It was not in the refrigerator. Oh, really? And, and this is the Perrier. Well, I got news for you, buddy. Yeah. This is the pee. 
This is your Perrier. Really? It was sitting out, and that is my oh. lemon flavored Calistoga that I forgot oh. had lemon in it. <laughs> you you tripped me. Well, but, see, you don't know the difference. You're, you're like Loki, the god of mischief. <laughs> you, you're, you're like Brer <laughs> Rabbit, the trickster. Well, Sorry, that's wow. your period. Oh, that's, wow. This is my cal. See, you could get uh, you could get this for a dollar, a whole liter. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. Well, but it's. But you don't have to have the lemon. You can a get a plain one. You can get a plain one. No, I just I, I happen know, to have lemon. No, it is good to mix your waters. So yeah. I'm saying, so, you know what I should do next time? I'm gonna pour. Oh, I tasted. I'll pour the lemon Calistoga and the lemon Perrier and see if you know the difference. Oh, I, I I'd rather not have either one, though. Oh, because you like don't like lemon. No, but, okay, but let fake, me ask you this. You know, get a real lemon and squeeze it in. Because you're always different. asking for like 25 lemons at the restaurant to put in your drink, right? Yeah, you get a free lemon. You get a free lemon that way. I guess right. so. Well, yeah. cheers. Oh, Enjoy thank your you. warm period. Well, I have this nice, and, cool Calistoga. Oh, and, by the way, what? that was a fun story from Emmy, right? Thank you, Emmy. Oh, I'll read you quickly her dream. I like her expression of... She also sent of, me uh, a dream. She had about you. I might as well just continue. Really? And he said, I had a weird dream last night that Will came over to my house. And him and me and the rest of my family played apples to apples. And also this fun Disney game I got for Christmas. Then he went to my cousin's birthday party. Weird. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah? Yeah. How was the party? It, it was good, except they didn't have apples to apples, so we had to play something else. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Was it a dream? So was it a dream or was it? Perhaps we'll find out in part really? two. Yes, okay. But first this. Hey, so this is, I made some popcorn. Oh, you made some popcorn. But I guess I have to make some more. You so were intimating, on. if that's the word for which I'm searching, yes. you were intimating that we will have a guest. We're going to have episode. a guest momentarily. Well, that will be very rare. But because just a minute, I have to make some more pop. It is rare. As uh, we're going to have guests in the second season. So this is like a... A sneak preview of the Do you know, that season. is one of the hardest words for me to say when Guests? I'm reading copy. Really? Yes. Anything with S-T-S never comes out right. Hmm. People think I'm saying I have gas. Well, that's... The, in the, <laughs> I'm really trying to say I have guests. Wow. Guests. Guests. In, in the previous episode, I was using the word acts. Yes. And you thought I said acts, A-X-E, as in I'd like to ask you a question. Um, no. Oh, what I was Which thinking. is a regionalism. That was what I was thinking, but okay. <laughs> you you expressed that out that. loud. No, because you said Miriam Nelson helps people with their acts. Yes. Acts. And that sounds like acts. <laughs> I wasn't with, implying that she hung with out with lumberjacks. E. With an E. Mm-hmm. The acts with an no, E. No, she was much, right. much too... Uh, so that's that's the end of uh, non ligneous for that. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna make some more popcorn because you've so eaten most. Is of this it. the end of part one? Yes. And we're gonna go to this, and then we'll be right back. And we'll be right, that right back. That's right. Oh yeah, that's what you were trying to say. Yeah. Good. So tell you later. Who today's guest poetess is? Why, it is Iphigenia Pentameter. Iphigenia Pentameter? Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> the Purple Cow by Gillette Burgess. I never saw a purple cow. I never hope to see one. But I can tell you anyhow. I'd rather see than be one. On the poetry safari, 
of his poetry in the air. Rivadachi. Welcome back. Oh. Hi, welcome back. And, and uh, I was smelling popcorn down yes, the you hall. Were. And here she is. So we're making popcorn. Come on in. Yep. Yes, I was just about to make some popcorn. Welcome. Thank you. It's a good thing I got here in time. To enjoy the full episode, please support us at patreon.com slash tell you later. Thanks a lot. I want to tell you something. You want to hear it? Uh-huh. Tell you later. Thanks for watching. Tell You Later is a Patreon driven entertainment show. So, what are you waiting for? Come on over, join us for so much more at patreon.com front slash tell you later. I didn't wink on not on nudge too slightly. Cause I never said yes I never said no I never said stop Never said go, go Nonetheless Put me back here You want empty water bottle? No Umbrella I didn't put it in my coat. That would be stupid. I don't think so. I don't hear anything.